Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you and demonstrate to you how you can run a quick poll from Outlook. Uh, so here's a scenario. Let's say you're sending an email maybe to a group of your colleagues, and you just want uh, to run a quick poll. For example, uh, ask a single question, you know, where, what are we doing for lunch? You know, what, uh, what are we doing for, uh, you know, barbecue party, et cetera, et cetera. Essentially, a single question um, poll. Um, it's very easy to do that, and let me show you how. And um, by the way, you can embed a poll from both of uh, the uh, web-based Outlook uh, as well as uh, the desktop version of Outlook. Uh, if you prefer the desktop version of Outlook, um, you just write your email and uh, click on this poll button over here. Okay, that will embed uh, the poll. Uh, I guess I have to sign in uh, to make it happen. But let me show you uh, from the web-based um, Outlook, um, pretty much works the same way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, again, you're writing an email, and what you need to do is click these three dots and choose poll, all right? And what will happen again from that point on, uh, the steps are pretty much identical between the desktop uh, version as well as the uh, the web browser, so um, you uh, pretty much uh, you have to provide information for your single question. Uh, what are we uh, doing for lunch? All right, so that's the question, and then you have to provide choices. So, for example, here we will have you know pizza, um, you know burger, and maybe we'll add salad. All right, a healthy option here. All right. And you know you, you can specify uh, whether you allow uh, multiple answers or not. Now, um, if you notice, um, yeah, you know if you are already using Microsoft Forms, you might notice that uh, this has the interface of Microsoft Forms, and uh, that's not surprising because behind the scenes we're actually using Forms functionality to build that survey. All right. Um, so in our case, we just want users to. Uh, choose uh, a single answer, so we'll stick with um, a, you know single answer, and click next. All right, and it gives you a brief uh, preview, and you just click add to email. All right, and essentially at that point, uh, at that point, it embeds this survey um, you know into your email, and you send it to whoever you need to send it to. And of course, at that point, the users will be able to receive an email and uh, you know provide the response right from within. The email. Now, let me show you what actually happens behind the scenes. Very, very important. So, if I go to forms, let me uh, refresh the screen. Behind the scenes, it actually creates a form for you in your account. All right. So, this is some of the forms I already had, but let me click. You know, you see, this is the form that got created. All right. And essentially, it creates the single question form for you. All right. This is the form that was used in Outlook. Um, you know, that was set up um, just a few seconds ago. And um, it actually tells you over here, this form cannot be edited, it's read-only, and that's on purpose, uh, all right? Because again, this form was not created from Microsoft Forms. This is not a survey we are going to, you know, share or make any other changes to. This is a one-time deal. Uh, that's why it kind of lives here, all right? I mean, of course, uh, just like with any other uh, you know, um, uh, responses, right, uh, or surveys you do in Microsoft Forms, um, you, you, all the results will be accumulated here. You can export them to Excel, uh, you know, all the kind of the usual stuff. And um, in case if you need to maybe uh, delete the form, let me uh, navigate back to uh, Forms over here. If I need me to maybe delete or remove from the list, for example, I'm done with the survey. Actually, let me delete it completely. Uh, here we go. Um, and you just click delete, and it pretty much, uh, you know, deletes the form, right? Um, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, nice and simple, um, uh, great functionality to uh, to utilize and kind of use multiple applications at once uh, by uh, virtue of using uh, poll feature in uh, Outlook. You actually use and rely on Microsoft Forms. All right, so that's all again I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.